left beautiful Venice for Lake Como. From the Como San Giovanni train station, we took the C30 bus to Bellagio. It was about 350 euros a person and about a 45 minute to an hour bus ride depending on the traffic. And here we are at our Airbnb. Sweating, you don't even want to know how much Nikita was sweating. The angel who carries my luggage. Up all these stairs, can I just say that? We have a good view, but it's definitely un buscio di culo. You don't even know what we had to do to get up here. This is our view. And then we have this little outdoor terrace area. We made it! We made it! I'm so sweaty, guys. It's been like a 10-hour travel day. I'm so tired. We'll see you when we look better. Hello, this is our first night in Bellagio. Let's go to the main center. I'm excited to show Nikita around. We're all a little bit tired, a little bit underslept, and a little bit hangry. The views are worth it, but tonight we ate at our first tourist trap. You can see Julia's vlog for more info. Everyone say pizza! Pizzeria! <laughs> <laughs> I have a gelato with Malaga and pistachio. Pistachio nuts and Malaga. Is it good? Do you like it? Yeah, it's really good. You said you owe me an ice cream because mm -hmm. I figured out that tripod. Despite the tourist trap, we have a beautiful trip ahead of us and that was definitely the last place we ate at that we didn't enjoy. We are in for a lot of delicious meals in Bellagio, Varena and beyond. So stay tuned for that. This is only the first stop. Good morning. So today our plan is to take the boat to Leno and go to Villa Balbianello. This is our morning plan. The evening plan is a little bit different, but we'll see if that ends up happening. So yeah, we're just really excited to explore Lake Como all together. Here is our lovely view from the daytime. Now you can really see how beautiful it is. This Airbnb is very spacious. But look at this view, honestly. Like, just look at it. It's incredible. We sent the guys for some water and they come back with some wine, beers, water. and some little water snacks. Water is not essential. Pan di stelle, mmm, and this buon di mocha cioccolato. Mmm, these look delicious. We're having some pizza al taglio at this place called Bella Vita. It's really good for a quick pizza to go for a very casual lunch since we're always waking up pretty late. Enjoy. Delicious. <laughs> this one has potatoes on it and this one is like four cheeses. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. Hello, Jules. Good morning. Good morning. We are walking the famous street here of Bellagio. We are on our way right now. We are going to Leno to head to Villa Balbianello eventually. We need this thing to get on. Hello, we are going right now to Leno. Now we're on the boat and we're enjoying the fresh air and mountain views. I mean, this is incredible. I'm just gonna show you how lovely this is, but look, look where we are. So I can't wait to go to Leno and then eventually Villa Balbianello because we're huge Star Wars fans. So we're very excited to see it together for the first time. So as you can see, we are enjoying our beautiful ferry ride from Bellagio to Leno. The ferry boats run often, I would say every 30 minutes or so, and the cost is approximately three to four euros per person per way. What I love about ferry rides in terms of transportation is that you can just relax and enjoy your destination. There is no need to hurry, just chill on the boat and take all of the beauty in. Hi. <laughs> this is where we are. All the way over there. Yeah, is that it? Yeah, that's Bellagio. Wow, right Bellagio is right all the way down there. Yep. So for four people, it was about 18 euros to get to Leno. And now it's going to be a little bit of a Another cost to take a boat, I'm assuming, to Villa Balbianello. And then to get in, I'm sure, is another cost. We'll see. <laughs> this Leno is very relaxing and chill compared to Bellagio, which is a little more, more touristic. So really, a lot of people come here mainly for particularly Villa Balbianello, like us, I'm assuming. We are on the boat to Villa Balbianello. Finally, we are arriving in Villa Balbianello. It is very iconic, especially if you are a Star Wars fan or a James Bond fan. I will explain a little bit about the costs coming up. So here's where they filmed Star Wars! Where Padme and Anakin got married, right? Or fell in love. I think fell in love. Yes. So we're actually on another planet. Um, we've taken a spaceship all the way down to And this is Villa Balbianello, and it costs 
11 euros ahead to get in here. The boat was eight euros there and back. And the ferry to get here, I believe, was four euros a person. So it's we didn't a have to pay. Day. We could have walked. <laughs> but we have ladies here, so the ladies didn't want to walk. There's also an option to walk instead of a boat, but it was really hot, and I think it's like a 45 minute walk. So. As I said, once you are in Leno, you can optionally walk to Villa Balbianello, but I believe the walk is about 50 minutes, and in the heat, I definitely recommend taking the boat. I believe that the arches where Anakin and Padme fell in love was not the famous arch, but the one on the other side. Nikita says no, but I think I'm right, so we'll see. Famous arches. <laughs> so beautiful. We took some nice photos here. Hopefully they came out nice, but... With many tourists visiting this beautiful villa, it's difficult to get a quiet moment to yourself, but if you're patient enough, you will find one. This tree is so well manicured. Yeah. <laughs> this, these are beautiful grounds, beautiful gardens, with beautiful views. Say, Villa del Pianello! It's really hard to pick a favorite villa when you're in Lake Como, but I will say that this one is very special to me and near and dear to my heart. We just checked the Star Wars thing. I'm pretty sure I'm right. It's when you first walk in. Everyone thought it was the arches. I feel like they walk briefly through the arches, but when they're on the balcony, it's when it's sort of like near the entrance, right? It's near the entrance. And then James Bond was filmed right near this tree that I'm looking at. James Bond. They're not even on Earth. This? Here. I told you. We're having a beautiful gelato. Fabrica del gelato. I have hazelnut and almond. So mandorla and nocciola. Mm. This is really good. Finally, I got something other than a spritz for once. A bellini. With this beautiful view. After all that picture taking, we caught the Kais having a nice relaxing break right before dinner. I think it's well deserved. <laughs> the two, the two stooges. <laughs> you guys hungry or what? I'm gonna get a lizard on my I know, baby. I'll eat. Come on. For some reason, the lighting inside this restaurant made my camera look like it was having a little bit of technical difficulties, but bear with me, everything is fine. And if you're here, get the gnocchi. So this is their pizzoccheri style the gnocchi with, made typically with buckwheat pasta, but this is just gnocchi with pelleggio cheese, I believe, cabbage, and potato. Have a bite. Try it. <laughs> Please try mine before his. And look, that's all butter. Enjoy. Rice with fish. What's oh, hot? Fish e persico. So it's like a lake fish. Look at these little fishes, huh? I think you have a lot. No, try, try. Good? I love it. Yeah, I love it. Good. So good. Yeah. So good. Hey guys, this is a delicious yucky here. Did you try it already? Oh my god, it's so good. It's definitely like a winter dish because it is heavy, but it's so good. Yeah, not for a hot day, but it's still really good. So, so good, but so filling. It's like had to finish 35 the degrees, and we're yeah, eating this like heavy winter dish. Winter dish you can find, but when, when Roma, they say, right? This is when in Bellagio. So. Yeah, this is a very uh, northern yeah. dish. Very good. A gelato from Gelateria del Borgo, which is probably the best gelateria in Bellagio. It's so delicious. Mmm. Pistacchio and. Mmm. Nochuala, hazelnut and pistachio, the nutty flavor is my favorite. <laughs> After that dinner, still have room for gelato. <laughs> Hello! What a beautiful, what a difference. The wind and the breeze uh, here the by the water, breeze. it's incredible. Stunning. Stunning. Any pearls of wisdom? Zero pearls. <laughs> <laughs> True. The only pearls True. are in the oysters in there. <laughs> <laughs> Buongiorno, we are outside this, I think it's Hotel du Lac, by the boat station in the water, and I'm having a little dessert for breakfast. And I'm waiting for a cappuccino. <coughs> Just a little cake for breakfast. Good morning, Blue. Good morning. <laughs> Reading some sports news and uh, Nice uh, 
I'm doing the view. <laughs> We're at La Punta. La Punta di Bellagio. La Punta di Bellagio. <laughs> Love you, sweetie. Love you. Sometimes you just need a minute to take in all of the beauty that surrounds you because it's not every day that you get to wake up to this beautiful view and just explore this lovely town. So it's just gorgeous here. So this is La Punta di Bellagio. So Bellagio is of Lake Como, it's like the little point and we're on the very point of it right now. It's just so beautiful here and today we thought it was going to rain so we didn't have anything really planned for today but it's like the most fresh beautiful summer day. I absolutely love it. I did a fig tree. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Look how beautiful. Are there any edible figs here? I don't know about that. Further up for sure. <laughs> Waiting for pasta. <laughs> This pasta to go place was new for us. It wasn't around in 2019 when we were here last and this is a really nice option for a quick lunch just to grab and go, eat with you outside or in your Airbnb. Ooh, we wanted to have a little bit of a beach day so while Jules and Attic are relaxing, I just want to show you the water where we're walking to. Spiaggia Pubblica di Bellagio. Spiaggia Pubblica di Bellagio right here. So I'll take you there and let's go. But it looks beautiful. Look at the scenery. I can't believe it. Huh? Gorgeous. Incredible. So we finally made it to the beach. It's a little beach area with lots of pebbles. So I believe that is where we were yesterday. There's Nikita. Look at all these mountains. It's incredible. So, so picturesque and so lovely. There we go. <laughs> so nice swimming. He's in his element here. Can you blame him? Look at this. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> We're just walking. Oh, we don't have anything for them. Hi. Oh. Hi. Uh, You're so beautiful. Uh, Hi. And there's a donkey. And this thing. Look at its eyes. Look at its eyes. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, uh, beautiful. Uh, Hi. Uh, You're an angel. Uh, uh, look how beautiful you are. You're so cute. Hello! Ciao! Look at the donkey now. This is the most incredible place. Look, 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 look. You're so look, excited. Boo, look. Eating, eating the grass. We have a gelato. Hello, guys. From Gelateria del Borgo, one of our favorites. We snuck away from the guys that were watching some soccer games, so we're like, we're gonna go walk down and get a gelato. Yeah. Who could resist gelato? Come on, no soccer game is better than this. No way. And we both have pistachio and nutrola. It's pistachio like our new favorite. and hazelnut, best combo ever. I've always loved pistachio, but now I'm like really into just the plain hazelnut. Oh, so good. It's so amazing. Cheers. After our gelato, Jules and I did a little bit of sister bonding and we just took in the stunning views of Bellagio and we also scouted out some restaurants. This one we had to actually line up for because they didn't take reservations. Lake fish appetizer, right? Yep. Antipasti di lago. So this is like a little pate. What was this? Smoked some trout. Trout. Salmon? And then this trout. was oh I'm look, not... a little tiny fish. Oh, yep. that's fried fish, and then yeah. That's interesting. You know, I was swimming today in the lake, and there oh. was um, there was fish. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy. Delicious. Lisa got some ravioli and Nikita fish ravioli. All fish, right? Yes. And you have your delicious pizza. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Sometimes the best thing to do while after a delicious meal is to just sit back, relax on a park bench and take in the gorgeous views because this doesn't happen often enough in life and you should remember to slow down every once in a while, breathe and take it all in. So cute. We're finally having a breakfast together. Hi, Booby. Hi. Addict drinking his standing up. Before we go to Verena okay, today, we're having a nice breakfast at this place called Vecchio Borgo. Yeah, Very nice to sit outside and have a nice, finely cornetto and cappuccino. Hi. Hi. Beautiful. After a delicious breakfast, we are leaving Bellagio for the day and we are heading to Varena. This is a really special spot for us. We always have such a nice time hanging out at Bar Il Molo, but now we have a new stop and that is to visit for the first time Villa Monastero. Spoiler alert, it is stunning, highly recommended. We are in Varena. We are doing the 
a lover's walk, I think that's what it's called, something like that, just to get to the main little little town here. So I'll show you. We came from that boat or something similar. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful, eh? Gorgeous. So we've arrived in Verena and now we are going up to Villa Monastero because we've been to Verena twice already with my mom and Jen, if you've seen our past vlogs of Lake Como. But we've never been to this villa, Villa Monastero, so I'm excited to see it. Nikita's just having his panino, as you can see, for his breakfast because we'll probably do Bar Il Molo a little bit later. So first we'll do the villa. Let's go! Let's go check out Villa Monastero. We are now in the villa, Villa Monastero. The price to get in and see everything is basically 17 euros. If you want to see just the villa gardens, it's like 8 euros. But we want to see inside the museum and inside the villa and everything like that. The botanical garden, so... Hi, Boo. Hello. Enjoying the villa? I like it. Beautiful. There is a quote about Lake Como that I really love and it goes like this. When you write the story of two happy lovers, let the story be set on the banks of Lake Como. So if you're interested to see more artsy things, pay a little bit extra and you can come inside. If you want to just see the beautiful garden view, just pay your basic fare. It just depends on what you prefer. I would have been fine with just the gardens, but <laughs> the guys like to see some of this history which is very interesting, so I'm looking at a table right now. <laughs> hey, look at this. Marvelous. Ta-da! Wow. And this That's is like this. Bathroom. Bath. Wow. Toilet. Ooh. Here's a letter from 1676. Look at how they would write back in the day. It was so much prettier. We're taking a break right now under this gorgeous tree. Bergamot. It's bergamot so beautiful. Tree. <gasps> a bergamot tree. Yeah, bergamot. Wow, that's a that bergamot is... tree right there. I've never seen a bergamot Neither tree. Neither have I. Stunning. And that this tree is just incredible, so it's gorgeous here. So as I said, we're just taking a little break under this beautiful magnolia tree. And I was just reflecting with everybody, especially Jules, because we've been to a lot of villas in Lake Como. See, this is one of my favorites, honestly. It's beautiful. So this is Villa Monastero in Varena, and honestly, it's stunning. I love the gardens. I love the grounds. There's so many picturesque spots, and it's just really big. So even if there's tons of people, you feel like you're walking by yourself. Lots of space. Just gorgeous. So I absolutely love it here. Highly recommend this villa. It's lovely. Lovely. Cool. This tree is a Pompalmo tree. Yeah, yeah. So you can see the big... It's like this big. Yeah. And then this one... It's a quinotto tree. Quinotto. So you know the quinotto drink you have? Ooh. Comes from this fruit right here. Look at the view from up here. It's incredible. So this is the whole grounds of the villa we've walked so far. It's just beautiful. Wow, look at that. Gorgeous. Guys, this view behind us is breathtaking. Really? <laughs> Breath and I and I taught Jules that breathtaking is mozzafiato. <laughs> That's Lee's new favorite That's word. That's my new favorite picture. word. <laughs> Another fig tree by the water. I bet you this fig, if it was ready, it would taste the best because look at this. Not growing near any pollution, just right by the water. Stunning, stunning step. Hi! Look at your view, babe. Can you believe it? We don't have this in Canada, do we? <laughs> I know. So safe to say this Villa Monastero is one of our favorite new villas of the trip. We've seen a lot of villas coming here in the past with my mom, with Jen, with Jules of course. So it was really nice to discover it now with our fiancés. This was breathtaking. It was gorgeous to walk the ground, see the beautiful gardens and explore this villa. It is something we will never forget. So this is like the town square of Varena. And now we waited for a nice table with a view at Bar Il Molo. Nikita is having the Guzzi drink and Jules and I are having a spritz, Attic is having a beer and we are just so excited to relax, take in the views and enjoy a delicious lunch. This is my favorite thing to get here, just the pure caprese, which is mozzarella di bufala with these fresh tomatoes, basil, a beautiful spritz. 
this view. You can't go wrong. This lemon? Hazel, this is mine. Give me I just want to show you the inside of this the fresh is, mozzarella di bufala ball. First place gets a lot of Look points. Look at that. If you have like a couple of... Look like how soft and delicious. Mm -hmm. We have the pinza, pinza romana, which is kind of like a focaccia type bread with just some little things on top. Nikita has his molo spritz, which looks extra pretty. And pizza. And a view. This dog is like adorable. Oh look, they're even taking a picture of him because he looks so chill. I highly recommend finishing your meal with this delicious gelato. This is the Coppa di Gelato and it is huge and incredible. Mm, let's try this delicious ice cream cup. Oh my god, I got the pistachio sauce. Mm. Varena, you are always beautiful, but it is so nice to head back to our favorite Bellagio. It just feels like home to us. We walked into town, we got a gelato, now the guys are back in our Airbnb with a pizza because they needed one and it looks really good. <laughs> so, buonasera! This pizza was literally right next to our Airbnb and it was incredible, highly recommended. So we are here at Vecchio Borgo. Ah, okay. Ciao. This is Silvia, she's so sweet. So when you're here in Bellagio, you have to visit here for a coffee. He makes it really good. A delicious oh, cappuccino. Sure. One of the best so cappuccino here. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Grazie mille, we will miss you. See you again. See ya. Walking down the many steps of Bellagio. <laughs> we just had a delicious cappuccino on our last day. I highly recommend that bar. The lady is so sweet and they actually do make a really delicious hot cappuccino. So if you enjoy coffee, just head there. There's nice tables to sit, and it doesn't really cost any extra. Sometimes they charge you like a service fee to sit at the tables. This is like you can sit calmly if you want. You can sit inside. There's actually a nice bathroom in there, so it's a really nice spot. I highly recommend it. So yeah, now we are going to Remezzo, and we're going to visit Villa Carlotta because we actually have quite some time here in Lake Como, and I feel like it's the thing to do is to see Villa, so. Let's go! Enzo! Ciao! We are here at Bella Vita and this is Enzo. <laughs> this is the best pizza Italian in Bellagio, to be honest. Ciao, Canada! <laughs> Grazie! Here! <laughs> Waiting for our boat, having our arancini. And as you saw, the guy in the store was so nice. He remembered me from some years ago, so I just did a quick vlog of him. He remembered me, probably mom, Jen, Jules, so... I was just with Nikita and they're grabbing some pizza Italian things for lunch, a quick lunch. And they're so nice in there, so it's just, it's so nice. I feel like you really find your bearings in a place as you leave it. So now that we're going, we know everyone, we know where we're going, we're so familiar with everything and we're leaving, so today's our last full day. Hello! Hello! We are off to Villa Carlotta. Yes! We were kind of wondering what to do today, even though we've seen, me and Lisa have seen Villa Carlotta, we figured it's something nice for the guys to see because in Bellagio, once you've seen, spent like five days there, you need things to do. So it's really nice to go from each little hamlet and just see what they have to offer. So for our last day, we are heading to visit Villa Carlotta, a beautiful villa that we've seen before, but it was so nice to see it once more. So we are about to go into Villa Carlotta. You can see Alex standing behind waiting. Nikita City. <laughs> Jules is getting us a granita. It is a hot one today. So sometimes I don't know if you can hear me with the wind, so I always repeat myself. But in case you don't know, we are going to Villa Carlotta. And this is one of our favorite villas as well. I remember Jen and my mom really like this one a lot. And I feel like in terms of villas, this has a beautiful garden. And there's more to see inside the actual villa as opposed to certain other villas around the area. So. Yeah, this is a really good one and I'll show you around like I did in 2019, I believe. <laughs> Villa Carlota, the entrance, and we're going up to the villa. It's really big and it's very beautiful. So to get inside the villa, everything included, the gardens, the villa, 12 euros per adult. So it's actually a pretty good deal, I would say, because these villas are getting quite expensive. <laughs> like yesterday's was, I believe, 17 euros for everything and I I feel like it was just the little room and the gardens, although yesterday's villa was incredible. This is actually a better deal. So Villa Carlotta, and it's very, very easy to get to. You just take the first stop from Bellagio over. Hey, so I don't want to scare you. They're all alert. Look at that guy looking so much. Hi. The turtles of Villa Carlotta, and then up there is the balcony. Woo, the many balconies. 
I'm so amazed by these hummingbird moths. They have it like a hummingbird, but it's a moth. Look, look at this guy. So cool, I love it. They clearly like this um, bush. There's so many beautiful butterflies and everything. Oh, look how nice this is. Wow, I love it. Look at all these butterflies. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Kita wants us to recreate this pose here. Yeah, recreate. It's an understatement. <laughs> he really wants us to get into this position and take a picture. I said, I'll have to take off my top and then we'll get kicked out. <laughs> Even looks like him. Baby, is that hey, look looks like you, bud. So despite my little joke there about that room being slightly creepy because of the music, Villa Carlotta is honestly so beautiful. One of our favorite villas because it is beautiful both inside and out. Inside the villa is stunning and outside of the villa is of course gorgeous the lawns are so well manicured and i can't say enough good things there's a lot to see and do at villa carlotta and the cost is reasonable so it's sort of in between what you would pay for a lesser expensive villa and a more expensive villa and so we say goodbye to villa carlotta and head to bellagio for our last night quick meal Buonasera. Buonasera. Buonasera, signorina. <laughs> it's our last night here. We're so sad. It's just been so beautiful here. We've just loved Bellagio as per usual. Us two have yes. are well acquainted with the area yes. and it was nice to show the guys. It was really nice this and area. we just saw I think all the best villas truly of this trip. I think we saw the top three best ones from experience. Oh yeah, definitely. And we just made the most of our time here because we did have quite a bit of time to spare here and it was just stunning. We took it easy. We had five yes. nights and it was actually nice that we got to see a villa we never saw which is the Villa Monastero so that was one that me and Lee actually never saw as yeah. well so all us four got to experience it for the first time. Which was really nice and now we're just having our last evening here. We have a dinner reservation for this restaurant called La Punta. Just We've never the been there point. either so, <laughs> yeah, so we'll see if it's good. I was hiding. Last evening here. How do you feel? What Did, do you bittersweet? Think? Bittersweet? Yeah. What do you think of Lake Como? It's stunning, mm -hmm. it's beautiful, it's relaxing if you want it to be. <laughs> if you want it to be, it doesn't have to be like yeah, this one. Exactly. <laughs> and Nikita was just teasing me because he was alluding to the fact that I can't really sit still when I travel and I feel like I have to make the most of my time spent on vacation because it doesn't happen very often. But it is our last night so we are going to a restaurant and we're going to just enjoy the surroundings for one final night. So this restaurant is called Ristorante La Punta because it's on La Punta di Bellagio. I don't know why I keep singing it that way but we already came here the other day. If you remember during the day and we saw La Punta, here's the restaurant right here. Hopefully we have a nice table. Let's go. View from the table, not bad. Check it out. This is what I'm looking at. Safe to say the view was great, but the company was even better. We are enjoying our fish today. I need to have pizza every day, so... <laughs> we have a fish pate, and they have a fried so it's more of like a tagliatelle it smells with delicious. smoked salmon. And trout. Mm. And I have the ravioli with nocci. Arik got the same, smoked salmon. I got the gnocchi. Bon appetito. Is it amazing? Delicious, enjoy. We're enjoying our last gelato. Say hi everyone. In hi guys. Our last gelato in Bellagio. So sad, but this one is so good. Gelateria del Borco, our favorite. We're leaving guys. We're leaving. So sad. It's been really beautiful here, but we're ready for Firenze. Yes. You heard Jules, our next stop is Firenze, Florence and Tuscany. So subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you for watching.